Arizona Cardinal. The Pats come into this one knowing they've got a fight on their hands. This could be one of those war of attrition types of games. So winning the field position battle and the turnover battle are going to be two big keys to seeing who gets out of here with the victory. Now we'll go down to Gillette Stadium for this matchup. And Steven Gostowski looks set now to kick it away. Peterson's going to be deep here for the opening kick. This game has officially begun. Peterson's going to run this one out. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Cardinals offense is led by quarterback Carson Palmer, who was having his career year in 2014 when suddenly it was curtailed by knee injury. Carson Palmer now with the Arizona Cardinals. Look, Bruce Arians loves to throw the football down the field. And what's the greatest streak Carson Palmer has? Throwing the football down the field. Johnson's in the backfield. Single back set. He takes it on the counter. The Patriots guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it. And they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Here we go. Lose again. Second and 11. Draw play here. Johnson's taken down at the 25. For the offensive starter, still one of the best wide receivers in the league, Larry Fitzgerald. One of the best, one of the most dependable guys you can hope for at the wide receiver position. And absolutely some of the best hands that you'll see in the NFL. Surveys it into his body Taylor's met at the 44 you know when you're catching the football there's nothing like catching the pass whether it's short or long and breaking a tackle and getting a couple extra yards that makes the quarterback have some confidence in you and he'll start looking for you more now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field nice job that time by the tight end makes the catch and you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. Second and two. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Johnson's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First and ten. John Brown has the catch. Ball is out, and the defense has it. Going to take it the distance. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. That's the way they're taught, to be greedy. Don't be satisfied with just getting the turnover. Take it all the way back to the house for the score. The point after try is in the books. The second quarter is usually the highest scoring quarter of the game. And we welcome you back now to the next 15 minutes. Peterson's got a chance for a return. Ball is out. A huge turn of events. The ball's going back the other way. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes a fumble, and they recover. First down at the 24. Johnson's there to make the tackle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Patriots in for the score. Another touchdown early in the second quarter. And, Phil, we met with this team and the coaches. Did you have any idea they were going to come out with this kind of start? No, I didn't, Jim. They're, do they're doing a terrific job on the offensive side and scoring those points. I, I love what they're doing on the defensive side. Hey, when it's not working, you know what you do? You change game plans. That's what I want to see from the defense. 
Peterson's going to test the coverage here. The ball is fumbled. Picking up the fumble, and now he's on the move. One of the reasons why you put all those fast guys on your kicking team so when that football comes loose like it did then, your guys can react and recover the fumble. First down at the 23. Damn, that gains a few. Lynch is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. back and we're coming out of the two minute warning in the first half second down and seven they'll run it here Lynch is a great buddy back to have on your football team isn't he he goes up in there and gets the first down now your offense has three more chances First and ten. Flip to the outside. And that's a gain of nine. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. Wilson standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. When you look back at every single game, especially on the offensive side, you win and lose games by how well you play in the red zone. That was an awesome job by the offense. They found a way to score the touchdown. The Cardinals, I'm sure, wanted to avoid giving up points on that drive just before the half. But now they'll have even a bigger hole to dig themselves out of in this one. The scores, 21 to 0. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Cardinals offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. Getting set as fast as they can. The Cardinals have it at the 39. Floyd had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second and ten. Incomplete. Fitzgerald was the intended receiver. Sometimes on third and long for the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up. They're coming up and making the tackle. Third down and ten. The Cardinals now move the chains. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Now first and ten. Makes the catch in the open field there to make the tackle the Cardinals call a timeout and are left now with only one this play set up by the long gainer Homer's back at it now dropping back once again and it's out of bounds incomplete Set up now at the 12-yard line. Palmer's got no one behind him. Just a quarterback waiting for the snap. Second down and 10. Makes the play one-handed. On the way, third down. They're in the hurry up mode. Takes it from the gun. And it's complete to Gresham. 
And that last play made by Pat Chung. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. The kick is good. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Patriots have been firing on all cylinders offensively in the first half, and they find themselves in excellent shape as we near halftime. Oh, man, they are in good shape. I love what they're doing on the offensive side, and don't change anything. Go in there at halftime, pat those offensive guys in the back and say, keep it going. I think they will. Thanks, Jim, and welcome.